welcome, Benjamin Herr here. Uh, today's tutorial is a real quick and short one. I've already mocked up the business card and it's already ready. What I'm doing is uh, getting it set for pre-press so that it can be sent to a printer. Uh, it's going to have a crop marks so, uh, so that the printer knows where to cut it. I've got all my bleeds and uh, dimensions all set correctly. And what I've done is I've taken this business card and I've saved it as a TIFF. Um, and I'm going to go over to InDesign. I'm going to create a new document, Control N. From the drop down, I'm going to select Business Card. Standard Business Card, of course. I've got it laid out in the horizontal position. And what we want to do is set our margins to an eighth of an inch. Because if you look at the, the border, what you want is to have a, uh, a uh, quarter inch bleed. And because the top and bottom margin, uh, one eighth of an inch totals a quarter. So one, two, five, and that'll actually reset it for the whole thing. That way you've got a quarter, a quarter inch or a 0.25 inch bleed all the way around. Uh, this actually is here for the margins. This is going to be the internal margins of the document. You'll see here where they're in pink. Now when we place Control D, the business card, we can place it anywhere and when you actually click on it and then you click and hold you're going to move it around you'll see a pink line that shows you that it's centered in the horizontal region slide it over and now we're lined up vertically you can drop it and you'll actually see also there it says negative 0.125 right there in that little pop-up I'll let go we know it's centered everything's cool if you wanted to go the long way you could gr uh, grab the rulers and slide them into place. Um, I'm not going to mess with that right now because we've already gone through the real quick and easy way. And we're just going to hit export control E and we're going to make it a PDF. And I've already got one here but I miss uh, I did forget to change uh, the email address on the card to correct it because this is an update to an existing card. So anywho uh, I'm going to select the name. If you didn't have one already here, you want to type in whatever name you want to name your business card. Hit save. I'm going to replace this one. And when this pops up, um, I actually found a video tutorial that walked me through the process as well. Um, I used their presets because a lot of it made sense, especially for uh, the, the current times as far as what is uh, more common for most printers. And you can go with any of these presets. High quality would be my recommendation if you don't go with any of these. I am not too familiar with prepress and the printers other than what they usually tell me what their preference is. Uh, in this particular video, this made perfect sense. And when I actually dealt with the printer just the other day, the, they said that the file that I sent them was perfect. So um, I'm going to keep it as is. It's uh, PDF X4. It's the 2008. Uh, so the reason it says modified is because of some modifications I've made here, which is the marks and bleeds. Normally, if uh, you haven't used this preset before, it's going to uh, it's not going to be selected. So you want to select crop marks, which automatically highlights the printer marks. Make sure your bleed. This is the important part that creates the crop mark, uh, and it's going to be set to 0.125. You've got your output. You've got advanced and all that good stuff. It's not really too important. The one thing on output is if you are by chance working with RGB or anything like that, and you don't ever want to have to worry about losing or converting everything to CMYK, you can actually leave it in RGB. And here, what you actually do is you select convert to destination preserve, uh, preserve numbers. And here, where it's got uh, the destination, Grackle. Uh, 2006 um, as far as the US uh, uh, CMYK and color scale and all that good stuff ink manager you click on here and you want to click on this uh, if it was checked you'd want to click it off and then re-click it um, and oh, depending on the videos mine was already set in CMYK so this is all that's going to show but if you were working in uh, RGB you'd have a lot of Pantones and other colors to be uh, dealing with and that's why you would want to double click this so if you are working RGB and you do convert to CMYK make sure that you do click this for sure I do it just as a precaution so I'm going to go ahead and click OK everything's perfect um, 
nothing to worry about here in advanced or security. Uh, general summary here, um, it does give me one warning saying that the compatibility was reset to uh, Acrobat 7. Um, I don't know uh, which printing companies out there don't update their uh, Adobe software, um, but I would recommend going back at least one year, if not two. When you look up here, uh, I've gone back to the Acrobat 7 version just to make sure that uh, they are able to print it. Some printing companies you might want to talk to them beforehand and make sure that they're up to date and current. If anybody's back in Acrobat 4, God help them, maybe you should find another printer. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and export. Everything's cool. Uh, one thing, one note I will make here is um, First thing, a little bit of discovery when I made uh, my first uh, uh, stab at doing the crop marks, I actually had set it to where my uh, business card was all within the confines of the card itself. And um, when you do that, you don't allow for the bleed. So what happens, if you're not already aware of it and you're you're not advanced enough to know what's up, you want to make sure that your bleed's outside of here because what's going to happen is they're going to cut through that line right there and you don't want to have any text going outside of your marks. I am a little bit outside of my inner bleed as far as uh, some people would be concerned. They'd want to stay within this pink line. You can go just a little bit outside of it, especially when you do have a bleed like this. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. We're going to go double check our PDF and everything looks good and all these lines and everything should uh, well should not appear on the, the print version from the printers uh, this is all just uh, Adobe lines um, I can't really explain all that because I'm not a hundred percent on uh, the whole point of that but when the printer says it's good I take the word on it yeah, my thing is more the graphics thing I'm not a pro pro I've never worked in an actual print shop I just work with them and they tell me what I, I need to do in order to get them the correct file so there you there you go there's a little quick little tutorial took a little longer explaining it but obviously it's just a matter of seconds you can have your crop marks uh, uh, already taken care of make sure your bleeds already positioned correctly so there you go and I uh, hope that helps you take care and have a good one